What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Monday, and uh, we are getting down to the finals of the deck. So in second place, we actually had Tord. Everybody thought, you know, Tord, he was going to win it. He was winning his fourth, in, uh, fourth internationals. He was going to do it, make a repeat. But he would lose in the finals with his very inter interesting Zorg deck. Now, this is just a Zorg deck. There's nothing else in it. There's a Mew, Cape of Buzzwall. There's a Ringer, and Ringer is probably the MVP. Not the, well, Zorg is the MVP, but as the poor Pokemon, Ringer is definitely the MVP in that sense. Uh, it has a research management. Put three cards from your disc file on the bottom of your deck in any order. Fantastic card, and uh, this is gonna get the mirror because you can like resource management your puzzles back in the deck. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing you really resource management your puzzles, uh, and you kind of just run your opponent out of, of resources while you get yours back, uh, which is very, very interesting with that deck. So, Ranger, very, very good card, and for Lele, like the deck is super consistent 4 4 Zark, 4 Lele, 1 Mew, and 1 Ranger, and that's it. There is no other Pokemon in this deck, so we're, I'm definitely interested to try to play this deck. Uh, two counter catcher, bring a Pokemon with the bench if you're down on prize cards. Three enhanced hammer. That's, you know, the point of this deck is kind of like mill your opponent. That's not, not 100% mill, but it definitely like to heavily disrupt your opponent. So three enhanced hammer. Uh, three of a soda. We're going to find the Zorks ASAP. Two field blower. And to Max Potion. Uh, with Max Potion, you can heal the damage off the Zark. You do have to discard a DCE, but you got your puzzles to get back those DCEs. And, you know, puzzles, one stretcher, and four Ultra Ball. So two Parallel City, really good in the mirror. You can put your point down to three. And one Reverse Valley, which is for Baby Buzzwell, because you hit 130 with it on the field. Uh, one Ace Roll to return one of your Pokemon back at your hand. Heal all damage counters. Uh, you have to put a damage Pokemon in your hand. Sorry. Um, but it's just going to help your Zorks live longer. It's very good for the mirror with these Max Potion Ace Rolla, which Tord expected a bunch of mirror matches. I remember before, like, the finals are in top 8 or something, he was like, oh, if I play all Zork decks, I'm going to win. Uh, so he felt he had very, 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 very good Zork matchup. Uh, 3 Brigetti here to get that turn 1 with 4 Lely and 3 and three Brigetti. If you miss turn 1 Bridget, that'd be insane. Uh, 1 Cynthia, you play 3 in 1 Cynthia. Uh, one Delinquent, which we saw in Jimmy Pedavras' deck, but you're going to discard a stadium card to play. If you do, you put a discard three cards. Uh, three Guzma and one Mallow. I'm still not 100% on the Mallow, but it's, it's it's whatever. It's good. Especially when you get, like, Max Potion and Hand Stam or something, which is really nice. Uh, three in, and one Sycamore. So we're playing, what, three, four, five, five Shuffle Draw Supports or Draw Support cards. Uh, I guess you can cut the battle for six, but still, it's it's five cards, which is insane. Uh, but we do have like we're we are Zark, so we're trading all day. And one Team Flare Gun, discard energy, attach your opponent to act Pokemon. So with Enhanced Tamer and Team Flare Gun, you're going to be running your opponent out of resources. One Float Stone, two Weakness Policy, so Buzzles will hit you for damage and four DCs. So let's go versus. Let's play some games with the Zark deck. All right, so we're gonna get Hen Dog 97. Now it looks like they're playing a fighting deck. Oh, there's a Lucario there. So remember, uh, our deck does play like the Reverse Valley to handle the Baby Buzzwall. We also play the Weakness Policy, which is very useful if they don't play multiple Field Blurs. Now, even if they play one or two, we have puzzles to get them back, and they can constantly use Ace Roll and Max Potion to re heal our guys over and over again. So it's actually, a I think it's an okay matchup here. I mean, toward did probably play against a bunch of Buzzwai, I imagine, right? So we'll see. Uh, get a Mulligan here. All right. So let's see. Press done. Hopefully we don't Mulligan too many times. There's only... Well, there's nine basics, I guess, right? So, ooh, okay. So we get the weakness policy. We start Tapu Lele. Press done. All righty. So let's see here. What can we do? Well... I think our turn basically just going to be Lele, Bridget, and that's that's pretty much going to be it. The next we have Eva Soda and Mallow, which is very nice. So there's a Lele from our opponent and a Zora. All right, let's put down Zora. We'll put down Lele. One Wonder Tag, yes. Uh, we'll grab a Bridget, and let's hope all three of our Zoras in the deck. That'd be pretty nice, right? Get four Zoras turn one. So Bridget here, okay. All right, there's everybody. Uh, we also have, we have one Zork prize, unfortunately, but we'll press done. Still a pretty good turn. 
Uh, we could Eva Soda for a Zork. Mallow put... Hmm. Well, I don't know. I, I guess we could... Uh, hmm. Okay, so there's a Buzzle. Okay. It's a very weird thing our next turn. Uh, so there's a Max. Looks so we'll see... Uh, if he takes a knockout with like an absorption GX, then oh, that's what we might see here. Okay, so another okay, max elixir fell. Another, so that's three max elixirs. Oh my goodness, three in the opening hand. Does he have an energy and a and a float stone? There's an energy. Okay. Does he have float stone here? And there's a rock rough. Okay, and pass. Okay, so we can. Eva Soda. That's a good topic too. For Zark GX, okay. <clears throat> we can mm, We can Guzmo knock out the Rock Ruff. Or we get energy drive the Buzzwall. So I think I'm gonna Guzma. Hmm. Um The only thing I'm worried about. Nah, so we'll, let's trade first. Let's trade away the Ultra Ball for two new cards. Let's see what we get here. There's a Zark. Okay, put down the Zark. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm going to Guzma, break up the Buzzwall, send up our top of Lele, put a DCE, and just like smack it for a knockout. This will call hit, This will make him use Absorb from GX, unless he puts down a, um, a, what is it, a uh, Deontay. Then Deontay can actually make him take a knockout with a Knuckle Impact, but then I will Mallow for like a DCE, and uh, I don't know the other card. We already have Weakness Policy. Maybe the Zork. Well, we got a top deck something. So there's a Lycan Rock. Gonna use that Bloodthirsty Eyes. Probably break up a Zork, right? Alright, so Zero Brian brought up. Uh, we'll see a knockout. What we could do is actually just energy drive for the knock on this Buzzwell, which is fine with me. Okay. So there's a Deontay coming down. There's a Sycamore discarding an Ultra Ball drawing some more cards. Now, let's see. If he ta okay, so there's strong energy to the Lycanroc, which is kind of scary because this Lycanroc can knock out this guy. Fine, okay. There's a Choice Spin going to the Lycanroc, okay. And a Knuckle Impact for the knockout doing 360 damage. That's a lot of damage there. So, a we'll Cinnab Zork. Um, well, he takes the knockout regardless. So, we're going to send the Lele in, okay. We'll send the Lele on to our turn. We will I want a mallow for a Zork and an in for next turn. Okay. So we will oops trade it discard the field blower, draw two new cards. Okay, we'll put down Zork. And we will energy drive for the knockout. Okay. So energy drive for the knockout. <clears throat> Good enough. Four prize cards. But now he has the B string mode kind of thing. Alright, so a puzzle and a uh, stretch, okay? Hmm. Does he find the DCE? Okay, no, he just needs energy. He can attack a like rock. So here comes Boswell. Okay. So Boswell could be very scary. This is his like his B string turn, right? So there's a Buzzle, B energy, okay. There's a B string. Uh, right now, swing around does. Uh, oh, he's gonna go for. Oh, actually, he'd go for Sledgehammer here, right? 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Does he have a choice spin? A choice spin will allow him to take a knockout this turn. Oh, I did the math wrong. Hold on, hold on. 9, uh, 9 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 30, 40, 50. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. Alright, so in our turn, we will, let's see, weakness policy the active. We will double puzzle. Okay. To grab DCE and a Zorg. Yep, yeah, so grab these two. 
put a DC on this guy, put down Zark, and play in. Yeah, so we're in the two here. Now, uh, okay, what we're looking for is a is an enhanced hammer discard that energy off the active. There's Team Flare Grunt, so trade, discard the Eva, so I draw two new cards. There is a Bridget we discard. Okay, so we'll trade with the Bridget. Can we find one of these hands hammer, please? Okay, we'll trade. Discard this Cynthia. No! Okay, so. <gasps> oh, we attached DC to the wrong person. Oh, no. Okay, so another opponent's turn. I messed up. Okay. Big time. That was a big mess up there. Alright, so Sledgehammer. For 170. Okay, so on our turn, we will Team Flaregrunt discard the, that thing. Uh, max push in the active. Put a DC here. Trade away the second March on two new cards. Uh, trade away the Ultra Ball Trina. I'm looking for a, um, a counter catcher. Okay, trade away the Bridget. See, okay, so we're, uh, Parallel City. Um, we can Parallel City down to three. Yep. He's probably going to discard the Lele. That's what I would do. And we'll go for Riotous Baiting, okay. So, 80. Yeah, I was looking for a choice, a uh, counter catcher to bring up that, that Lycan Rock. It's definitely probably the most, the scariest card on his side of the field right now. Oh, Beast Ring. Uh-oh. So, 1 to the active, okay. 2 to the active, okay. And there's an int. So, we got a 4, he goes to 2. Uh, cards I'm looking for is an Ace Rolla. Uh, Ace Rolla could be really good. There's a Max Potion, Counter Catcher, Guzma, okay. Hmm. There's a Super Rod, okay. Those three guys back in the deck, okay. How many puzzles have I played? Two puzzles. So, Floodstone to the active and Sledgehammer. Alrighty, so into our turn. We will trade away the. F How many floats? Oh, we only had the one float. So, How many Guzmas are in here? So, one Guzma. We discard, yeah, the float stone. I think it's a better play. Okay. So, there's a DC and counter catcher. So, we counter catcher. Bring it the buzz wall. We'll max push in the active. Uh, DC the active. Trade away the Guzma, draw two new cards. Enhance Tamer, discard the strong energy off the, uh, the bench. Um, trade away the stretcher. Okay, and we will write his baiting 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay. Um, so next turn, what we could do is put down two Pokemon and actually knock out the Boswell. I don't... Oh, man. We actually might not have enough to actually do that next turn. Alright, so 30 of 30. Okay, on to our turn. We get an Ace Rolla. Okay. So we can trade away the Enhanced Hammer. See, I'm scared if I put down another Pokemon, then, like, Lycanroc can use Dangerous Rogue, which is what I'm really scared of. Um, we'll trade away the Countercatcher. Um, and trade away the Delinquent right now. We'll just go to the Parallel City, Okay. So we will ace roll the active. Uh, send it the Zark. Put a weakness policy. Float stone. Field blower. Discard one and two. Press done. 
put down Zora and right is beating. Okay, so there we go. Do 80 damage. Next turn we can knock it out. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. Things looking kind of okay for us right now. So another jet punch here. So 30, 50 and 30. So let's see. 8, 9, 10. So put down Zork. Um... I don't want to play Delingo because he might have Lele in hand. So I'm going to trade and discard the Lele. Another weakness policy. Okay. Guess the weakness policy is kind of relevant. I kind of just want to hold it to his hand. Um. We can trade. Discard the... Lele. Maybe we should need Captain Lele. It's a five prizes. Okay, the puzzle and Eva Soda. And we'll trade away the Eva Soda. Alright, so let's see what we find here. So Mew and Ultra Ball. Alright, so Um we take a knockout. I don't think he can like deck us out. So I'm gonna go for Riot is beating for the knockout. Go down to two. Alright. Go down to two prize cards. We find an in and a puzzle type. All right, so double puzzle next turn, which is really, really good because we go for double max potion, heal both of our Zorks, and uh, put, put him up in a, re a really bad situation. Okay, so Brooklyn Hill coming down, okay. All right, all right, all right. So there's a rim ready coming online. Okay, we could goose up the rim ready this turn if we want to. So Sledgehammer for 50. Okay, so on to our turn. We will double puzzle for double max potion. Do we grab double max potion? He can't really take a knockout next turn unless he like gets crazy puzzle, which I don't think he can. Um. So max potion. What's in our deck? Okay, that, that, that. Um, I'm just gonna grab double max potion here. But then, like, what if he discards one of our DCEs? Alright, so we're gonna grab max potion. Um, no, we have to play a supporter card this turn. Okay. So we'll grab a Cerola and Stretcher. Yeah. Alright. So we'll Stretcher. Put Pokemon back in our deck. Okay. <sighs> we are going to shuffle one, two, three. We're going to Ace Rolla the Zork. Send up Zork. Put a Dece in the active. Weakness policy. Weakness policy. 20, 40, 60. Okay. We'll put down Zora. Well, Ultra Ball, we could... I'm just going to hold the Ultra Ball right now, and I'm just going to go for the Riotous Beating for the Knockout. Okay. Hmm. Go down to one prize card. Okay, so there's a Zark. So, the only card I'm kind of scared of is not even this guy. That's really not even that concerning. All right. So, it looks like we might have done it, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Ultra Ball for Lele. Okay. Oh, an Octo. Okay, makes sense. He probably only plays the one Lele, right? But what can he do here? He is down three Max Luxers. Um, I mean, if he doesn't end us, we have game. We have Guzma. There's a Boswell coming down. I don't care about Boswell. We have Mew in hand, so we can retreat to Mew. There's an Octo coming down. We have so many ways to win right now. We have double Ultra Ball, which can found us, uh, one of the Lele's put in our deck. But then we only have, like, ends in there, so that's really not that relevant. I should have probably just like Ultra Ball discarded the ends, Ultra Ball discarded like the delinquent and the enhanced hammer, just to thin our deck down a lot. Alright, so strong energy to the Buzzwell. And it's Cynthia, so that means we are gonna win the game. There's there's no way you can take a knockout this turn. And uh, we have a full bench we could do. Okay, that thingy, whatever. Alrighty, so man, these weakness policy came in very clutch. 
Woo! All right, so uh, yeah, looks like we're gonna win this game, guys. And this is how you beat Buzzwell, right? Like he was doing really good, right? I think it was a two to six comeback, uh, but just the max push and the Acerola uh, and another little hand size, and uh, I mean we got. Some, we, I don't think he win this. I right, so Ouch Ball. If he wins this, I I will scream. I will scream. Enhanced Tamers will clutch. This card is strong enough to jump that guy. Um, there's just a lot of good stuff that happened in this game. Our Reverse Valley is the card that's prized. Our last card is Reverse Valley. I just realized that. So, on to our turn. We can, like, we can do this. We can do this. That's 120, which is enough for the knockout. So, right is beating for 120. We could, like, Guzma, bring up this guy, put a DCE, right is beating that way. And there's our Reverse Valley. All right. So, wait, one more game with the deck, that's, that pretty much showed the deck. Like, the deck is very, like, your opponent takes the lead, and then you slowly start, like, you know, I'm going to play Max Push, I'm going to play Lick, I'm going to play uh, a Sroll, I'm going to delink with you, I'm going to end you, I'm going to put down a little hand size. So, Kentukiana, uh, I'm not sure how to say that name, but we'll call heads, okay. We won the coin flip, so yes, we'll go first. All right, so on to our turn. What do we find here? Okay, um, it's another weird hand. It's kind of like the hand we saw last game. Okay, so what are we playing against now? It's some kind of fairy deck, which is very interesting. Didn't think I'd see fairy. Oh, it's Sylveon. Okay, so what we're going to do is scoop this game because I don't want to play against Sylveon. I'm like, it's, we could win, um, but it's very, very hard. It's very, very hard. We do have a Rangaroo, so we get a Rangaroo back our stuff. Like, it's, it is very, very possible because we have a Ranguru, give back our puzzles, and blah, blah, blah. But it's a very, very long game. I don't want to sit here for that long uh, playing this. It is a very, very, like, skillful matchup for sure. Like, you have to know when to Ranguru. Your opponent knows how to attack the Ranguru. But do we have ways to get rid of energy off his Sylveon, stuff like that. Like, we'll play Team Flagrant as well. So there's a lot of, like, weird stuff going on in that matchup. So I, I, I don't... It's... I don't want to play it. I don't. I don't want to play a twenty-minute game of me uh, crying the whole time, right? Like I, I, I kind of know how to play it, but then like, I kind of don't really want to play it. So, uh, Lola Ninetale. So this is the question: How do you deal with these decks? How do you deal with an Alolan Ninetales that makes it say, "Hey, your GX and EX Pokemon." can't hurt us and we're only playing gx and ex pokemon well that's what we're gonna find out today well there's a lowland sand true um not i don't really care about that guy too much really don't care about him okay so see the same thing on a shuffle and get some new cards here come on down cynthia all right against six cards let's see there's a vulpix coming down uh cubone what does marowak do here for us not sure. But we see the Brooklyn Hill. I'm going to grab another Vulpix, most likely. That's what I would grab if I was my opponent. Uh, oh, a Sand True. I wonder if these are the Lull and Sand Slash that makes you draw an extra card. I think that's what it is. So DC actually goes to the Cubone. Interesting. Okay, so it's Team Flagrant. Very useless card. We could Brooklyn Hill, but there's nothing. I mean, like, so in hindsight, yes, you should Brooklyn Hill to see what's in your deck. But nah, I don't really care that much. Woo! So, E-Hammer discarded the D off this guy. Put down a Rangaroo. I don't think he can take a knockout this turn. Or attack us this turn. So, I'm just going to press done. I really, I realistically don't think he can attack us this turn. I think Marowak needs multiple energies to attack us. I think. I could be very wrong here. Very, 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 very wrong. Hopefully I'm not though. So another cubo. These are two different cubones. Whoa! All right. So even so, the Marowak. Okay, we're supposed to find out. Did Squeaky make a mistake? Did he? Did he not know what these cards do? He know not the cards they do today. Okay, that's the same slash let you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What is this like? What is going on here? Uh huh. Uh huh. I see it now. I see what he wants to do here. All right, so Cynthia. 
Okay. Wow. So a DC would actually let him swing right now. Hmm. Okay. All right. So he's going for the Lolan Club. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. So spike armor for 30. It actually does damage. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. So we get Ultra Ball. Discard the Reverse Valley and Lele for Zark. 120. So you can't take a knock on it. So I'm put down the Zark. I am going to Wonder Tag for Bridget. Because he can't knock us out this turn. Uh, yeah. So grab Bridget. Okay. We'll grab three Zoras. And then we'll just pass. Yeah. So Bridget here. Okay. So get these three. Press done. Like the most he can do with this guy is like 110. The most he can do with this guy is 150. So he can't knock us out. All right. So another another Marowak come down. Okay. All right. So we both have full bench here. All right. Slush rush. Oh, it is the other same slush. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. All right. So water to the little Marowak. Okay. He's going to hit us for 30. Then the next turn, he actually can knock us out. So Spike Armor, if you find the Choice Band, right? So there's a Float Stone. So I'm going to trade, discard the Float Stone, draw two new cards. All right, so we got Double Puzzle. So I'm going to play Double Puzzle here. Okay. I'm going to grab the Float Stone and in. So grab those two, we'll put a float stone the active, and play it in to get a new hand of six. There we go. Alrighty, so we find here. Can I catch a mallow? Okay, okay. So we find a Zork. Hey, there we go. Step number one. Put down a Zork. We will trade. Discard the Bridget. Pretty irrelevant card right there. So Bridget, draw two new cards. Okay, put down the Zork. We'll trade. Discard the counter catcher. It's pretty much gonna be useless. I don't think we're ever going to use it this game, really. Eva Soda for the... Okay, so we have four Zorks now. Look at there. So we'll trade, discard the Ultra Ball. Pretty useless card right now. Okay, we will retreat into the Zork. And unfortunately, have to pass this turn. Okay, so our opponent has five Pokemon on the bench that we can knock out. That is not the Alolan Ninetales. So that's actually a really, really good thing to say, to see. All right, so Slush Rush going to draw a card. Okay. Now, once again, the most he can do this turn is 150, which means he could knock out the Zork. But um, if he swings this, this Zork, we will just Max Potion and then Mallow for the DCE and whatever. So switch into, ooh, the Alolan Ninetales, actually. Okay. So Alolan Ninetales making an appearance here saying, hey, I'm going to discard your stuff. So Choice Band. Ooh. DCE, so he's going for that Aurora Beam right now, okay. Alrighty, so here we go, the Aurora Beam for 110 damage. Alrighty, so into our turn, we will... We can Mallow for two cards top of our deck. We'll grab Enhanced Tamer. Let's see, so how much does this guy do? 80. But then 120 knocks out this Rangaroo, so I'm going to grab the, uh, the Enhanced Tamer. And a Team Flare Grunt for the next turn. So I'm grab these two, okay. We will Max Potion the Active. Trade, discard the Eva Soda. We'll E Hammer the DC off the Active. And then I'm actually just going to pass right now. I, I don't want to play any of the cards in my hand right now. I just want to hold on to them. What I'm trying to do is discard all his DCEs and see if he has any more. Uh, because if we do that and he doesn't have any more DCEs, then we kind of just win there. Uh, we can easily knock out this little Marowak, which is pretty nice. If he doesn't swing this turn, we're definitely just going to goose with the Marowak and take a knock on it while we can. 
So it's a, a bodybuilder dumbbell is going to the Marowak. Going to give it 160 HP. But we can still just goose mark up this guy for the knockout. So this Sycamore, okay. He is digging here. Discard some stuff, okay. Does he find the third DCE? And that's the question here. So there's a random receive, okay. Look at top seven, okay. Find, oh, net, flip a card, so you find a splitter card. Sorry, I, did, I said that incorrectly. So Slush Rush, draw a card, okay. Did he find the DCE? <clears throat> if not, we're gooseman up this Marowak, taking the knockout while we can. I think it's definitely the correct play. And I'm fine with this having a, a bodybuilding dumbbells. Um, just because it means it can't have a choice when to knock out this guy. So I treated this guy, okay. Aqua Patch to the Ninetales. Okay. <clears throat> so Water Energy there. And we're going to see 120 damage with the Alolan Club. But we're pretty much just going to Ace Roll the, the Zork and take a knockout. Oh, we don't actually have to take a knockout. But if we find a field blower, we can. Alright, so 120 on our turn. We will trade Discard Guzma. We have not played a field blower. Trade, discard the Lele. Trade, discard the Cynthia. Okay. Trade, discard the Countercatcher. Alright, well, we'll have to uh, Ace roll the active. Sin and Zork, put down Zora, put a DC on it. And Riot is beating for 120. Wow. Missed the Field Blower. But uh, next turn we could have like a double prize turn. We can like Field Blower plus Guzma to knock out the other Lola Marowak. Which would be really nice. Okay. Yeah. I think we're still fine here. We're still fine. As long as we get rid of these Marowaks, we can survive two a uh, turn from the Ninetales, which is okay. Alright. So we see a Skyla. Let's see if the Skyla gets my opponent. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what we're playing against, but we're going to keep rolling with it. It's a fun deck to play against right now. And just all different Alolans, guys. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. We can, like, trade, put Muse in this card pile, and, like, stretch it back in the deck. There's a Float Stone, okay. Who's the Float Stone here? Okay, so Slush Rush to draw a card. He's down to 15. Okay. Uh, how many DCs? Okay, so no DCs. So water to the Nine Tails. Okay. <clears throat> we'll see a, a Lolan Club for 120. All right, on our turn, we we'll put down this guy. We'll trade, discard the Mew, draw two new cards. This is a fun game, right, guys? Okay, there's the Field Blower. So Field Blower, discard one and two. Go down to five. There's an enhanced hammer, okay. So send it to the nine tails. We will trade, discard the uh, Lele, draw two new cards. Let's see here, there's a max potion. All right, so we can Guzma bring up the Marowak, send up our Zork. Put a DC on this guy. Max potion the bench. Because this guy can't get knocked out. And we will go for Riotous Beating for the knockout. Do 120 damage. Alright, so we got that four price cards. There is a Parallel City. Alright. So next turn, what we can do is we can Team Floor Ground, retreat to Rangaru, and start using the resource management to put cards back into our deck. And then basically what we're going to try to do is uh discard all the water juice off this nine tail so here comes a slant a lowland sand slash which means he has guzma this turn right it has to mean he has guzma so okay aqua patch okay gonna put on that guy so he has three outs on the field for us right now there's a water as soon as he like does if as soon as he puts more pokemon down i'm gonna start like guzman out these pokemon oh speaking of guzma there we go there's a nine tails okay so four. If he doesn't retreat this turn, we pretty much have game. So water energy to Vulpix. Hmm, maybe not. 
Hmm, what are we doing here, guys? So another cubo in the field, okay. Floatstone to the active retreat. Choice span to the nine tails, okay. Hmm. Interesting, okay. So see slush rush gonna draw a card, he's down to twelve, okay. I think definitely the play is like the team flare grunt. Uh yeah, so there we see that. So okay, so we have a good good we still have a good field here. We can Perilous City. Put opponent down to three. And this is gonna make it where his Alolan like the Alolan guy doesn't do that much damage. He's gonna discard this sand slash most likely. And then maybe the sand true. Okay, there's one. Oh, he actually discards that, okay. So it's he flare discard water jump the active. We'll put a DC on this guy. Yeah, put it DC here. Um, so I'm gonna trade, discard the field blower, draw two new cards. Don't need that card. Okay, we'll trade, discard the bridge, draw two new cards. And we'll trade, discard the Eva Soda. I'm just trying to discard stuff we don't need out of our deck anymore. Alright, so we will retreat into the ring room. And we'll go for resource management. Uh, to put two of these and a max potion on top of our deck. Uh, no, actually what we're going to do is put the Team Flare Grunt and double puzzle there we go all right so we can train draw two cards i uh, have double puzzle in our hand already okay yeah i think we're fine here i think we're fine <clears throat> um so there's a cynthia so he's looking for a water you here to attack a ringer with okay all right so how many aqua patches has he played Play two so far. Another nine tails in the field. Okay. Let's see here. What did he find? The energy or not? Did he find a DC? So there's a water sheet active. Okay. Alrighty. So field blower. Get rid of the parallel city and the float stone. And the float stone being discarded is kind of annoying because now I don't have the free treaty anymore that I want. Okay. There's a roar beam for 70, or for 80, sorry. On our turn, we will trade, discard the weakness policy, draw two new cards. One's going to be Team Flare Grunt. Well, Team Flare Grunt, <coughs> discard a water gel the active. <coughs> now, we could trade, and with this, we can find our cards and then put three Pokemon pop bottom of our deck so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna trade discard the sycamore okay puzzle we will stretcher oh we actually don't need to shuffle any Pokemon we could just use a Ranguru oh man that's sick I just realized that all right so we'll do that we'll put three Pokemon back our bottom of our deck one two three We will double puzzle. Actually, all I need is a max potion and a DCE. Yeah, so grab these two. We'll play max potion the active. Yeah, that's all I need. I didn't need all the extra stuff. Put a DC here. And we will resource management to put. <clears throat> Team Flare Grunt and Double Puzzle. I mean, we can constantly do this over and over again, so we're going to chain loop this, and eventually we're going to win. It's going to be a very long game here, but I, we should win this game, I think, eventually. All right, so my opponent's turn. He actually has taken more time than us, right? Um, And and we're just like, yeah, yeah, we're going to win this. Like, there's no way we don't, we don't win this. We constantly just put cards back in the bottom of our deck. Uh, his Ninetales can never take a knockout. There's a DCT active, which means we can Hammer plus Team Flare Grunt this turn. 
Just saying. Oh, there's an N. Okay, so this N is kind of a deal, but we have, like, so many outs in our deck that's not even funny. What I was talking about. Okay. All right, so Roar Beam for 70 or whatever, 80. Okay, on to our turn. We can Team Flare go out the Water Gel, the active. We can double puzzle. Uh, we'll trade first. Trade. Discard Lele. Trade. Discard Mew. <clears throat> All right. So we'll double puzzle. Okay. To grab Max Potion DCE. Uh, I need. I want this Enhanced Hammer too. All right, so max potion this guy. Put a DC on it. We will double puzzle for a team flare grunt and enhanced hammer. Yep. I know, it's so exciting game. It's such an exciting game right now. So team flare grunt the DCE. We'll trade, discard the del uh, the delinquent, and then do we trade away the end? Go down to one. We put three in there. We draw puzzles. I think that's fine. Yeah. So we'll trade, discard the lele, draw two, which means we have one card left in our deck. Which I, we're not going to deck out because then we're just going to resource management and then put uh, three puzzles. Yeah. And we always do like the play where we get like one puzzle and then like a different and then like a different card and then we can like and then draw the other puzzle and then we like constantly have it. Okay. So my opponent needs a DCE this turn. Alright, there's DCE, okay, but now we can team flare ground plus DC this turn, and that's nine tails cannot attack a ringaru the next turn. Alrighty. So let's see what he decides to do here. So is that roar beam for seventy? 80, sorry. Okay, on to our turn. We will Enhanced Hammer, discard the DCE. Team Flare, discard the Water Energy. And I'm actually just going to resource. I don't even care anymore. I just want to resource management. I literally don't think there's a way my opponent can win now. Alright, so resource management. To grab the Puzzle, Max Potion, and another Enhanced Hammer. Yep, so now we're going to refill our deck back up, and now we should be able to win. We can just literally just fill our deck back up, and there's no way he can win the game now. I am pretty, I am like that confident right now that there's no way he can win. He could end us and stuff like that, whatever, that's fine. Uh, my plan now is to Parallel City and Delinquent him next turn. Uh, so Water Energy active, okay, so we got to discard some more Water Energy, okay. So Water Energy active, oh, he treats to the sand, we're going to see a Spike Armor here actually for 30. It doesn't knock us out, does not knock us out. Um, but that is a way for sure. So spike armor, okay, for thirty. Well, man, man you gotta make my life a little comp harder, don't you? Uh, I'm just gonna Guzma bring out the Nine Tails, send up our Zark, and just pass. Just see what happens. Goes out of one, okay. I don't think he's played that many Guzmas though. Just kind of tired now. I just want my opponent to surrender, basically. Slush Rush for a card. And is that game? Is that game? That's the question. We literally took no prize cards, but oh, we took two. So six. There's a Cynthia. Okay, he gets one card. He already knows his deck. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's the deck. So that's the cool thing about this deck. And there we go. There we go. So that's kind of how you play the Zark with the Ringer and stuff like that. This is pretty much a central thing you do in a lot of decks. Uh, I know this is not a very good example because it's a Ringaroo or it was a Marowak, whatever. But guys, there we go. There's Monday's video. We don't need to talk about this deck no more. You can definitely see how it works. And in the second game, it kind of applies like a bunch of different stuff like the Mirror Match. We saw game number one. We took down Buzzwell. It's a very, very good deck. And that's why Tord gets second. But he did lose. So the question is, what did he lose against? We'll see that on Thursday. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.